Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 34 of Let's Play Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. So that's a load episode 33 here. We're in Fort Haven. Um, we've got someone named R on here. We just checked the portal message. Um, we have some stuff to do today, like buy some new equipment. That's going to be a lot of fun, seeing what our blacksmith, uh, what we can do with our blacksmith. Uh, let's head in here, though, and start the episode with Chief Miranda. An envoy of the Ukatish is waiting for you. The swamp folk are easy to recognize. He did his best, but his leather jerkin is stained and his beard is wild un and uncombed. He stares boldly at you as you enter. Chief Miranda looks tired. Miranda, who is this vassal? Prince, this is Oron. He comes from Nakala with angry words. Oron nods. Soldiers of Haven have returned to our lands. We can tolerate this. We have missed trade with Haven. We have been poorer since the calamity that drove you away. However, our people are being insulted. We are proud. We will not tolerate this. You know something about the calamity? He is surprised by the question. Of course, we all know that some curse drove Haven away. It is a great mystery. None of us know why it happened, and many wish it had not. Chief Miranda nods. We all know this. Back to the matter at hand. Who is doing the insulting? Your soldiers, your merchants, all of you. It is bad enough, the centuries of contempt, the Ariel, the Vol. Like, they aren't mad or stupid, but they always look down on us. We won't put up with it from you, too. What source of insults? Swamp feet, stink worms, dirty, smelly, mudheads, insults to our women, our morals. Our lands are a swamp, yes. We earn our bread. We kill when we must. He is getting really angry. Oh my gosh. And what do you want me to do about it? You are the prince. They will listen to you. Say they can't insult us. Beat those who don't obey. Execute those who offend our honor so we don't have to. We won't tolerate it. Miranda, opinions. Miranda gives a little cough. Execution might be a little on the harsh side. However, the Ukatish are very, very proud and touchy. Very touchy. Some diplomacy might be useful. How should I punish soldiers who disobey? Oron says, We will get insulted no more. Do whatever it takes to get them to stop. Haven is strong, but we have our limits. Our rage must be heard. I have made a decision. Oron nods. Chief Miranda looks longingly at the undone work on her desk. Um, have General Ajax tell the soldiers that aggravating our vassals will not be tolerated. Oran nods. Thank you, Prince. A bit of politeness will be greatly appreciated by the Ukatish. It would be a refreshing change of pace. He makes a half-hearted semi-kneel and walks out. Miranda says, Good luck trying to get people to be nice to the Ukatish. Our soldiers love to make them angry. It's just so easy. We can always try, though. Hmm. Okay, there's that. All right. Um, all right, let's head down to the blacksmith here. Wait a minute, can we build yet? No, not really. We don't have the wood to build an apothecary yet. Okay, um, we have to wait then. All right, so let's see. First things first, um, I should probably go ahead and get the folded steel rapier and put two runes into it. Um, curse duration. I could just put two strength runes into it, I guess. I don't know if you can put two of the same, actually. I probably can't. So I'd put um, a strength rune in. Actually, before we come here, let's head to our alchemist and see what types of runes we can actually make. Shock, strength, and dead eye. Okay, so dead eye. Um, we're probably gonna need a dead eye rune. 
I'm, uh, I'm not going to buy it yet. We're kind of low on gold, too, so it's a little bit trickier than it would have been a while ago. Um, and we have the arcane weapon, the arcane dagger. 17 to 29. His damage is very low, but it gets 20% to crit damage. Hits are criticals 20% of the time. 17 to 29 magic damage. Um, I feel like the user of the War Axe should just go ahead and get an Arcane Dagger. It's a little bit less damage, but the criticals are going to make up for it. Let's go ahead and buy an arcane dagger. Um, let's go ahead and install a rune in it. Um, wait. The rune would be shock rune. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it does. 14 to 26 magical damage. So now it's on par with the War Axe, but gives an extra 10% to crit chance, so that's very good. Um, that is all. Go ahead and equip that. And sell the War Axe. Okay, next. Um, should probably get one of those. Well, there's also armor. Iron scale armor. Probably want to use Ukatesh leather in this area for the poison resist. Even though it's lesser defense, um, you're using very cool vault chain mail. Using leather armor with an 8% healing bonus. Um, I don't want the speed penalty for her. This would be a big upgrade. And we could put the healing bonus into it. You're going to be on the front line, so what do you think? You're going to stick with the healer's robes, actually. Um... So, we'll think about that. Then there's Helmet. Ron Salad. Steel Chain Helm. Ah, fine. Uh, we already have fine leather. Maybe you could use that. No, same thing. This has an augment slot. Therefore, it's worth a little more than the ball chain helm. Um, let's see what kind of augments we have. Iron augment, staunching augment, less in duration, less in duration augment. Since you're going to be blessing us, Hmm. Your blessing bonus is 55%. You only have one blessing, though. <clears throat> hmm. Next time we have to get Battle Frenzy. Alright, so you could use with another blessing duration <clears throat> um, augment
Actually, you could probably use... You could probably be fine. <clears throat> fine as you are. She's our healer. We don't really have a rune <clears throat> yet to, um... Like a better rune. Just have one of these choices. You could also use blessing duration. <clears throat> so you'd have to buy a bronze salad if you want that. Um, let's go ahead and buy what we're pretty sure I'm going to use. Folded steel rapier. Um... No, wait a minute. I thought this did more than what my side blade was doing. It has more potential. <clears throat> we can get two augments out of it, or two runes, but... Curse duration. Can you use curse duration? So curse would be like weakness... Leading and snare stun. Okay, you can use curse duration, so I think it'd be worthwhile to buy the folded rapier, which is going to be probably our last purchase, and on it install one physical damage and 10% curse duration. I think that's good. It does the same damage, but it gives us 10% curse duration. Is that worth 60? I don't know, but that is what it is. Um, and then the potential of any future runes that we want to put into it, of course. So now we have to sell stuff. We have to sell the Vol Side Blade and the War Axe. So now we have a little bit more, 114. We can actually buy another piece or two. Um, in this, if I get this. Oh, you already have the healing bonus. It's not protecting much physical damage, unfortunately. Um, you have a healing bonus. But this would protect you more. Um, yeah, you have the Vault Chainmail. I have the Ugatish Leather with the Poison Resist. That's probably what I'm going to use. For now, um, so the only upgrade here would be potentially for um, Sashel. Maybe we want to go helmet. Less physical, but a, an augment slot. Um, and again, We can staunch, we can blessing duration. I don't want to lose any more physical defense. That's why it might be a good idea. I don't want to lose the poison resist either. Um, I might go ahead and get a bronze salad and then put a blessing duration rune into it.
or even a staunching augment. Check out some stats first. 20 physical, 7 magical. 18 physical, 7 magical. 15 physical, 7 magical. 13 physical, 18 magical. Could get healing bonus twenty eight percent. Well, your armor already has healing bonus. <sighs> Trying to get the best bang for our buck here. Iron scale has two empty slots. So while that's a twelve, this would take it to seven but give two empty augment slots. Studded leather. Alright, let's go ahead and buy you a studded leather. No, I don't want to sell something. I want to take the healing augment out. Put the healing augment in the studded leather. And put that on. And now you're are 18 and 9, so you're more on par with the group. Go ahead and sell the leather armor. Um, that's pretty much all we can do unless we decide to go away from the uh, Ukatish salad. And get more staunching resistance. Let's see. Who needs the resistance? Um, bleeding and poison are good for me. Not so great there. Not so great there. Not so great there. Uh, another 5% is not going to make a huge difference. Whereas... Yeah, you can't do curse bonus. Um, I don't know what else I would put in the helmet. But maybe healing bonus. I can't afford a healing rune right now, though. You don't have any blessings, so it will pretty much be for you, for Sachel, to get an even higher blessing bonus. Once she gets Battle Frenzy. Um... So I think I'm just crazy enough to do it. Let's go ahead and grab it. Let's go ahead and 
install on oh no we have to pass it to her give her the blessing duration and I guess I'll go ahead and wear the Ukatish salad I can sell the vault chain helm you can put on the bronze salad and get more blessing duration. Cool. So she's at a 75% blessing du bonus. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, I have to sell stuff. I'll sell that. And that would about do it. So we have some new equipment. Very good. Um need more coins uh, let's go put these augments in such a way um, okay very good Alright, next order of business then. We're done here. Hmm. I don't know what other... Um, what other options we have like if I can sell more stone somewhere I don't remember what options we had regarding that like if there was different people we could talk to oh, I think there might be oh, stone 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 let me see how much stone we actually can do we're getting to the point where we kind of need our stone we still have more Stone, stone, stone. That'll be it. Keep a little bit just in case. Um, let's head to like Kelleran. I think they had something similar. What does Kelleran have? Anybody here now? Trading hall. Near Pangle. Services. Rest in a meal. Nothing else to offer. Okay, so. Nothing much going on here. Some sort of item shop. Give me his fine gear. Use your help. Ubitish camp and fall chain helm. Barracks. And lot of state theater. Didn't I make a patronage for the theater? How's that going along? How are you doing with my money? Oh. Hmm. We 
already heard that before. That's why I canceled out of it. Um, let's head to Fort Muck. And from here... It's a smith. No, it's an empty building. Um, let's look for something to do. We could go out exploring. There's a drake in the fen to the north of Fort Muck. Mist maze northwest of Nakala. Gellum southwest of the Mire Fangs. Okay, so let's go and make sure that our next order of business is getting rid of crime in the area and exploring. Okay, this is Nakala. As you travel south, you find that amazingly, the swamps of the Ukat are becoming even creepier. The road becomes like a mud track. You see no settlements. People don't come out here. The mist muffles all sound. You keep your hand near your weapon. You sense great danger ahead. Quick save. Claimed land. Turn back. Where are the Meyer Fangs? Oh, Gillum Ruins are down there. Head back to the Meyer Fangs. Hmm. We can report to General Ajax. Pass through the Meyer Fangs, tell the tale. General Ajax nods. Prince Sutter was not wrong. You are very capable. The bridge reopened, the Ukatish met, the border opened. A good day's work. Alas, we're far from the end. We still need to enter that muddy land, and we know li little of current conditions there. Oh, and if you haven't already, talk to the quartermaster. I think he has something for you. <coughs> the quartermaster. I think we probably already did this. I have one passage to the Meyer Fangs. I could use some supplies. Yes, Prince. Packed in with some javelins, I found an enchanted flask. I asked the general, and he thought it would be most useful in your hands. He fetches the flask for you. It is full of healing potion. General Ajax's instincts were correct. Cool. All right, um, oh, we repaired the bridge, nice. <clears throat> okay, let's head to Gellum. Haven report, very nice, no theft in Ucat, which is only 20% theft chance. And now we have enough to... Ooh, some... Theft in the vault lands. Made 131. Okay, not bad. Uh... Oh, we can just go to Nakala. Gellum's right here. Um, well, I want to go to Fort Muck. And build something else here while we can. This episode unofficially brought to you by V8 Splash Berry Blend. I say unofficial because it's not really sponsored by them, but if someone would contact them for me, and tell them, you know, I do good stuff here on the channel and that they should sponsor me. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Would really appreciate it. Mm. What I'm going to do now 
is probably... There's our smith down there, okay. In this empty building here, probably going to build an apothecary. Upkeep is one stone, two quicksilver. Let's check what we're making here. So we have two iron we can play with, eight stone, 12 stone, seven wood, and two quicksilver. So I don't, unless there's another use for quicksilver here. Which there's not, it's just the apothecary. Um, we can build one apothecary and something else. There we go. Our Quicksilver's taken care of. We have an alchemist. Okay, let's see what kind of runes we can pick now. Okay, we've got new rune. We can do a curse rune. We can get a cheap shot rune, which is critical chance. <laughs> Very cool. New augments. Oh, yeah. Fleet Foot Augment, 4% Speed Bonus, Steadfast, 20% Curse Resist, Steel Turn, Physical Evasion, Fire Turn, Magical Evasion. Very, very nice. Okay, so how would we want to do this? Oh, now I want a bronze salad. I can go get one. But these, this is going to cost all of what we have. Dang, I need more gold. Um, flask, we can do bone flask. Use one. Call icy bones. Summons a sapphire skeleton for six turns. And woodskin potion. Evasion for five turns. Very nice. So that is the upgraded apothecary. Tons of new features. And we're not done yet. Because I can still build... I could potentially build another smithy. This four doesn't have a mill. Could build a mill... Okay, that's all I'd have left then for wood. So wait, so it's not that we can't do this ever, you know, upkeep wise. We can handle it upkeep wise. We just can't do it until we have more wood available. So. You need to build a mill in this fort. I'll do guard towers, but they cost an iron. Um, yeah, I should probably do a guard towers. the damage you take in combat. Does not say how many guard towers we have, though. Number currently active. Pretty sure we have some, right? No, we don't. We never got guard towers. Um. Ah, what the heck. Let's... Oh, wait, I could potentially get another smithy. Well, we're going to be getting a lot of iron in this land, so let's just go ahead and build the guard towers. We're out of wood now, but that should lower um, a few things for us. The theft rate plus uh, damage in combat. 
Very nice. So, we should be ready to head out. And, um, that's F3. And head to Gellum. Oh, from Nicola. Let's fight some Meyer Fangs. Hopefully, fi find some treasure. East. There we go. We entered the ruins of the town of Gellum. Once it played host to travelers coming to and from Haven and the other lands of Sacramento. After the calamity, it was abandoned. Abandoned by humans, anyway. There are animal bones scattered everywhere, gnawed clean. You find tracks of four toed feet with long claws. The swamp smell is tinged with rotting meat and old sweat. Gellum. Um, see how long we've been playing. 36 minutes, okay. Ah, uh, let's secure the perimeter first. You hear a long, low moan. It sounds almost like humming. You look behind you. Myrlings have slunk up out of the shed to the south. They were trying to sneak up on you, but they hum as they advance. These creatures are bizarre. They look wolfish, but they completely failed to sneak up on you. When they get close, they rush at you, constantly emitting their deep hum. That is pretty bizarre. Um... <clears throat> oh, got some flingers. Dang. Three flingers. Okay. Go ahead and get your dagger out and magical damage. Um Oh, two flingers, okay. Uh, shoot. Critical, nice. And... Go ahead and shoot. Yeah, her evasion is pretty good. Um... Whirlwind. Bleeding. <laughs> Love it. Bleeding. It's a shell. Uh, can shoot a flinger. Bleeding. <laughs> Vicious strike. Okay, Lauren's taking kind of a beating. Um, there's a crit. Wow, I'm already seeing a lot of our new abilities coming to light here. Another vicious strike. Lauren has got to hang in there. Um, let's go ahead and heal Lauren. Wow, her heal is not Ah, not that great. Lauren's heal, of course, is much better. Um, just kill that one. Ah. There we go. Critical. It's just strike. Love it. All right, let's come back and check out this shed then. Um, by default, we want to have on these weapons. The door is barred from the inside. You can't get it open. You lean against the door and listen. You think you can hear something growling on the other side. Huh. Heard that. 
huge lizards. Oh man, we're gonna be doing a lot of bleeding. Lots of bleeding. I mean, we should expend some energy here, but we don't really have to too much. Whirlwind. Bleeding, vicious strike. Dang. from having a new petition in the party, of course. Ooh, much needed wood. We're gonna have to get out in the field and get our hands dirty to get a load of the resources we need, so. Um, go in any of these two buildings, it looks like. Empty box. Pile of wood. Ah. Let's come in here. Okay, wolves. Oh, a marling flinger. Critical, nice. Shoot the flinger. Perfect time for a whirlwind. Vicious strike. Oh, it got a shot off. I didn't think it would. Nice. Wood and stone. Um, also, unfortunately, we're going to have to replace Elspeth once we get an Ariel character. So that's a thing. Um, nine copper bits and a pile of wood. Oh. Dang. Myrlings have dug tunnels under the town with their clawed hands. You move slowly and silently, afraid that a good shake could make the mud ceiling collapse on you at any moment. There are myrlings down here. You can hear them. They are all humming, just like the ones you met above. Sometimes the hum is lower, sometimes higher. Everything the creatures do is a crude parody of hu observed human behavior. You think they are singing. Hmm. We'll get in one more battle and then uh, call it an episode. Um, little whirlwind. Same from you, my dear. Another Marling appears on the scene. Just finished my V8. Um... to heal pretty soon. From here, you can see the central chamber of this warren. There is a fire. A huge myrling stands next to it, leading their moaning song. 
The creature is lost in some bizarre ecstasy. He swears, sways back and forth, eyes closed. He hasn't noticed you yet. Enchanter? Huh. Um. Let's go ahead and get a heal on you. Heal 33. And let's go ahead and get a weaker heal. 22 on you. I'm um, going to save here and say thank you for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as well as the LP as a whole. I'm having a blast. Um, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If this is your first video or if you've been watching the LP for 34 episodes. Oh my gosh, you rock. You rule. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I appreciate every view on my channel, whether it's full LPs or just one video. It's all good. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Next time, we'll take on this chanter, see what its deal is, and uh, yeah, continue exploring for the glory of Haven. <laughs> so long, guys.